Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the What's Up Then podcast. We appreciate you guys clicking on this video. Got the older brother, Spencer. Got the two younger brothers, Tucker and Keaton. We're the Woodlicka family. Just thank you guys. Again, just trying to bring... We talk about gibberish. We talk a lot about nothing. But we're just trying to bring some laughter into your lives. Insight into our family. But thank you guys. Tucker, you want to give them a rundown for this? what they expect from this episode today? All right. You can expect some sports talk. Some hot topics from Kyle. Um, Is it a sports segment? And lastly, our draft. Nice. Well, thank you, Tucker, for giving us the rundown today. You're welcome. Today we're presented or sponsored by Mountain Dew again. So thank you, Mountain Dew. We do the do here. We do the do here on the What's Up Them podcast. So you should do the do. If you're not, you're no do. So thank you, Mountain Dew. Both, both, both rundowns. They forgot to say we do like to do a higher low from this past week. So we like to. We're not very good on our social medias. So here on the podcast, we like to give a little insight on our weeks. So to get to know us a little better. So Spencer, I like the little smirk. Let's give the floor to you. Let's hear about your week. Yeah, yeah. Give that big insight into the the life and events. We have big events that happen in this in this podcast. So we gotta exactly. Keep yeah. exactly. I'm dating Taylor Swift, so it's exciting. Well, you don't ever say it. You just hint that it may or may not be. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's it's happening. You don't say nice. it. You just say, "Yes, I might be a lucky man right now with a lucky lady." But you don't give any more detail. Yep. Uh, yeah. So hi. Uh, been been on my my push for the Spartan race. Been working out a lot, a lot more, getting some extra runs in. Uh, really pushing for it. Uh, today's physical activity, though, which was a high, got to play some eleven v eleven today. Uh, got to play in goal. Oh, yikes. Uh, always enjoyed that. How many goals uh, did they score? Didn't come out with the win. It was a three-three tie. Didn't come mm-hmm. up, but yikes. it was. You let so three goals in. Yikes! Three one v one goals. Oh so yikes! We may have made some some backline mistakes that were quite costly. So yikes! Mm, yikes! Can yeah. we give? I'm surprised your high of the week was not your wife's birthday celebration. Can you give us a little insight? <laughs> Inside of what you did. Well, that's that's my private life. We don't talk about private life. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. He forgot I'm about a, it. Yeah, he forgot about it. That's what he's saying. Oh, it was a good outing. We had some good. We went out for dinner uh, at a nice nice Italian place, and then we went and went to Putt Shack, which is a, a oh, we door. Went, putt, we went putt back. That tracks your shots for you electronically. Yeah. Really cool. Oh. Yeah. Very fun. The they, made, they made miniature golf exciting again. I I didn't know you would go back. Our first experience was I'd say it's all right, but oh when you get a free round for your birthday. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Did we let her win? Uh didn't let her, but she did win. Oh, Amanda! Yikes! A hot thing of week, yeah. Yikes! She was uh, she was reading the putts well that day. Yeah. She was reading those putts well. So. Some, I made some costly mistakes. Well, thanks for giving us a little insight into your week. Let's uh, let's hear Keaton, the next birthday boy, this past week. How was your How was your past week? Uh, it was pretty good. Uh, I guess a high was. My birthday was Monday, so yeah, that's about it, though. Do anything exciting for the birthday, or? Uh, yeah, a little bit. That's I nice. just drank we're just all we're just gonna leave it there, or? Oh, it was yeah. big big twenty first, so. Yeah, I'm, I drank yesterday. Do you remember Monday? Yeah, you... I didn't or, drink Monday or Tuesday. How big was I didn't the head? Drink 
How big was the headache this morning then? If you no, nah, it was fine. Okay. It wasn't bad. No, I think you I don't know if you'll go hardcore. You seem like more of a fruity drink guy. You like those fruity <laughs> like yeah. smeared offs, hard mics. Yeah. I don't like really those. like shots that much, but yeah. Those can get fun. Well, thanks, Keaton. Yeah. Well, that's the second least interesting person maybe in the world. We'll go to the least interesting person in the world. Tucker. Wow, thanks. Well, let's hear let's you debate that. Let's hear how your week was. I got nothing. I didn't do exactly <laughs> this week. Hey. Um, I guess some highlights. I've been watching some scary movies this week, which I've enjoyed. Yeah. So, I, don't... I heard you had a fun afternoon with mother. Oh uh, yeah, we got we went ran some errands after church this morning, so that was fun. We had to go that shop. Was fun or... Yeah, it's fun. We got to go <laughs> shop the Giant Eagle deals. Wow. Got some great deals at Giant Eagle. Then I got a cappuccino from Circle K, so that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Just enjoy the that's your, afternoon. That's your week. Yeah, yeah, we put we put together a plant shelf. Nice. Wow, that do sounds have, really fun. Do we have plants on it or wow. is... yes, all the plants from outside come came inside on this shelf to keep them because it's winter. Yeah. So it's getting cold. Yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah. Just... Some highlights. Steelers won today. It's also good. Can we, can we push the brakes on that? Yeah. That's a, that's your segue. Uh, you oh, don't want to hear that. about my high or my past week? I think you're the Not least really interesting right. person. Jeez. No, I was just going to say I called mom and she, she's like, ask Tucker about his afternoon. It's like he went to church, so he was forced to go do errands. And he was he vacuumed the car out. He went to the car wash with her. She said he was very helpful today. So oh, good yeah. for Tucker. Good for Tucker. So this is why you don't live yeah. at home. Getting, getting some mom points. Does he have a choice? Is the question. We're lucky. Not this at this, point, this new car wash. It's a brand new um, car wash. It's got like a big kiosk thing to. Like enter your, what you want and stuff. We're lucky there was an employee there. Because <laughs> Bob's like, you gotta help me. But I'm like, nope. You gotta talk to this employee. She's uh, it's bad. She's a lost puppy. Good, good thing you're there for her. Good thing you're there for. Her. Yeah, I guess so. <coughs> so you want to hear about my week or are we moving on? Moving on. Sure, let's hear about it. Jeez. Nope. I got fever. I got fever not for a cowbell, but I got fever for pickleball. Finally got a paddle, went out, and played some pickleball this week. It's a lot of fun. I, If you aren't as nibble and agility-wise, I think pickleball is perfect for you. So you just got to just go out meet some new people. Have some fun out on the pickleball court. I still got to get – I'm a little hesitant at the net. I still got to get up into the into the cooker. Or by the, the, the kitchen. kitchen. By the kitchen. kitchen. That's what go in the kitchen. kitchen. Yes. Just go near the kitchen. If you yes, can't handle gotta, the heat, get out of the kitchen. Yes, I have not been able to handle the heat. I'm not – got to be up, ready, you know. So Spencer has his hand up. How many – how many old ladies crush you at the kitchen? No, there's not the older men crush me out of the kitchen. No, the older men crush me out of the kitchen. The older ladies do not. They they spent more time at the kitchen than you have. Yes, yes. No, one real good point is they I was back a little bit, so they hit a little shorter. I came up and I hit a cross court one and I was pretty I was pretty impressed with myself. That was probably my best hit of the week and probably my life at pickleball. So, well, hopefully this fever continues. That's my high. I played twice this week. So, can I just got to get better with hitting the slice or a 
the spin with the ball. So when they're at the net, I don't have to lob it over their head or just smack it as hard as I want. So you got better at slicing and dicing. So, but yep. Pickleball fever. Pickleball fever. Who else has pickleball fever? Comment. I don't think any of these three have pickleball fever. No. So. Stupid. You don't want to get me on that court. So no do. dominating sport. <clears throat> it's it's fun. It's fun, but it's that's it's not. You no do some, you, you join you some two, tournaments. You two are more nibble and agility wise. Oh, yeah. The top you. the thank top you. two thank the you. top two up here. We're a little <laughs> we're on the slower side, so we got just on the top of my screen. So oh. I'm just nimble gentlemen. No, the bottom two Ooh. on my screen is the nibble agile. They get they can move. The top on my screen, me and Tucker, we're a little we're a little slower. So I haven't slower? hit my I I feel like I haven't hit my needing to play pickleball face yet. I still, while I still can play sports where you can, you have to move a little bit more. I think I got to get into it. Yeah. I hit an age where I can't move anymore. That's when you go pick a ball. Yeah. Yes. There's a bunch. I go in the mornings and there's a bunch of old people. Yeah. You do not mess with the old men. They have right. their own court. They want to play with the best of the best. <laughs> and I'm not up there. So they go get their own court and you better be prepared. So they're playing the they're playing the strategy, the angles. So uh, I gotta get better with that. So but segue, Tucker's already mentioned the Steelers uh filming this Sunday night. So they came out, beat the Baltimore Ravens 17 to 10. Uh um, so I don't I North Carolina North Carolinians. <clears throat> Did not get the Steelers game, so I do not. I kept up with the score, and I did not watch highlights. So you, Tucker, or you three, can tell give us insight. I didn't watch it. Pittsburgh Steelers. Did Spencer watch it? It doesn't it seem. So Tucker, I'm you the are... only one that watched it. No, yes. I did watch it. Okay. Okay, so Tucker, you start. Spencer, fill in if he misses anything. Well, I mean, first half was kind of all Ravens. You had Lamar Jackson doing what he does. Um, yeah, making good plays. And then we I think we had one fumble in the first half, but I think we got a field goal from it. And then the second half, we kind of held we held the Ravens. Lamar Jackson, he had a interception in the end zone and a fumble. We had two where two. was Joey? Where was Joey Porter Jr.? That was Versus... in the end, that was in the end zone. Okay. The Ravens had it was third down and whatever they could have had a field goal, but he threw an interception in the end zone. So yeah, that was a good play, and we ended up scoring off of that turnover. So scoring the winning touchdown. Nice. Any sweats or anything to add? I I am. I do not enjoy watching the Steelers. Oh, the the, the, the offense is awful. Such, it's such a boring, like overall game with them. The offense, like they don't do anything on offense. They have a they have a couple chunk plays. They don't really string the whole drive together, and yes. we hope that the defense keeps the other team low enough that we can. <laughs> somehow scrape out a win and that's what we did but there's like there's no identity to the team yeah we're not like a hard nose run it down your throat because we can't run the ball we can barely pass the ball yeah i guess our identity is defense and then hope and pray that we can scrape out some touchdowns yeah it's not great to watch it's not great to watch we're five games into the season is that more on the coaches or you think it's our players i think i think the coaches are not getting the the potential out of our players they're huh? not making plays catered to them tucker little football insight right there I, 
Like I, mean, I think our creativity, the... our creativity yes, for our plays. <laughs> I do not listen to that. I've watched every single Steelers game this season. I get a little. I learned some stuff. Oh, we did another big thing. We did block a punt for a safety. Safety. That yes. was also a big turnaround. Yes, Hayward. Hayward's brother, Connor. He almost got it. He almost the got score it. was seventeen to ten, though. Yeah, we yes, had two field yes. goals, a safety, and a touchdown. No, three field Nine. goals. Three, three field, field goals. goals. What? Safety. Uh, oh, touchdown. Three just, field goals, safety. Go we didn't get an extra point, so we just got six at the touchdown. Oh, yeah, we yeah we went for two. I forgot about that. Okay, gotcha. That was 14-10. They kicked another yeah, field goal. Yeah, I only watched three quarters of the game, so I missed some of the big defensive plays. Yeah. Yes, that was my point. Matt Canada, you better be on your knees praising the defense for still having your job. You, I don't know what's somehow, some way, we always, uh, it's this. I know we're five games in and we're three and two, but it's not a good three and two. I'd say that. No, it's. It's the same as the last couple of years. It's our defense holding us. At, they're low scoring games. We're winning by like a possession or two. That's it's been the same. We got one. We got one touchdown today. Yeah. So. And whole well, fantasy news. Uh, Spencer can't give me a free win. Have one of the best weeks in this league that have I've been grinding. One of the your best, best. One of your best weeks. You're still like middle of. Yes, but I was projected. I was projected a hundred points, and I'm yeah. over it forty points. Yeah, and then Spencer has a hundred and sixty. I'm at a hundred and forty, and Spencer's hundred and sixty. I was. How let's let's talk a little fantasy because I beat you this week in a league. Uh, anyone else on the pod have an opportunity to beat him this week? Uh, uh, I do not um, have. I don't have faith. Did you fall behind him? No, I'm still ahead, but he's got four players. Check the live score. I'm up not... by I'm up by twenty four. Oh, you are for... you are projected to beat him. Yeah, but I Oh my gosh. McCaffrey... I forgot to take a player. I had something at after church today. Oh, and I forgot to take out a player. Oh, so I'm wrong. You only have three players. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one of them. I decided. have two. Yes, I have two today, and then I have one tomorrow. Two you, tomorrow. Got, you better hope that Christian McCaffrey starts going off because he's not doing he's well. Currently losing you. I did well, have Tucker a player has, with minus he, points. Yeah, <laughs> negative points. This, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's fantasy, man. I. This was a rough week. A lot of buys, injuries. It's just uh, hurts us every time. But no, two of my favorite players, Eagles, Philadelphia Eagles, Jason Kelsey, still leading that Eagles to an undefeated season. Did then they his end brother, up winning? Yeah, they ended up winning, I think, uh, by 10. Okay. I forget the score. And then his brother, Travis Kelsey, high ankle sprain, I heard. I don't know exactly no, he, the. He came back. He got. He, he came back and it. got a touchdown. Okay, he played yeah. through it. Yeah, he finished the game. Because the Kelseys are hard. They're strength, yeah. grit. Second, he, second best group of brothers. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring this up. He kind of tripped. It looked like he slipped on the turf. So yeah. another another problem with the turf. Again. He did talk about that on his podcast. That was one of the one People, of the discussions. Players getting hurt from turf. It's a big problem, I think. Yes. I think that turf is hard or something. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of players were slipping on it. Yeah. Well, I like I've been liking following Travis, getting the insight of his him and his brother's life, even all this personal, but Jason and Travis are pretty pretty cool cats and I tolerate the quarterback there and Kansas City, he's a uh, he's all right, but 
Yeah, that's Probably that's didn't neither. Hop on that bandwagon too. No, no, I would not hop on Patrick Mahomes' band. Mm, might as well. Might as well. He is, he, he is kind of the Steph Curry of the NFL. I was more Curry. LeBron. I was more Lamar. I wanted Lamar to be. Yeah, I've been a fan of Patrick professional. since since high school. Since high school <laughs> yeah. What college did he go to? Texas Tech. Mm. Any more questions? You have no idea what college or high school you went to. Uh, the high school in Texas. <clears throat> but I don't think there's any other NFL news. Um, we like the Steelers, and then I like the Kelseys. I was starting to follow the Kelseys. That's the only teams that I follow. But um, moving on, I have two. We'll make this quick. I don't, they're hot, my hot topics, and there's fun. Uh, kind of just a. Uh, Put Skip it in the there. One. Put it in there so we have a little bit more time here on the podcast. But the first one, we all love The Office, and I've been watching it recently. And I just finished finished the the series. And while I was watching it, I liked season eight and nine. And there's been controversy about that's when Steve Carell leaves The Office. Um, and there's been controversy. There's Is no controversy. Eight- is there is season it's, eight and nine worth watching? And I, I say it's worth watching. Not yes, it's not a controversy. You're just wrong. You my can, hot, you could go to the hot, last. Can I say my hot topic? Yes. That I say season eight and nine are underrated, and they may be. No, this is not what you said well, yesterday. No, no, stop I, before you say I something. said season eight and nine may be the best two seasons. Okay, yeah. all right. Okay, that's you outrageous. Did. We tried to warn that's you not, not to say something stupid, and then you went ahead and did it anyways. Yeah, no. Okay, this is what I told him. Okay. This is what I told him yesterday. Every good <laughs> thing about season eight and nine, you can fit into one episode. Ooh, that's true. I, there's there's some there's some decent episodes. Dwight Dwight not. firing the gun in the office. Robert I'd like Robert California's character. No. 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 He has some good parts with not even close to Michael Scott. Yeah. No. I think listen, I think eight and nine, there's a few good good spots, a few good episodes in there. But overall yeah. It's it's hard. You watch you watch through it only because you've gotten that far and you love the series. Yeah, it's just a hot topic, and we love The Office. So just seeing some I mean, insight. I mean, don't have to I like you don't have to say like, dumb questions. I think eight and nine are the best. There are no dumb questions. There are new heights. No oh, here, dumb here questions. Here we go. There's our shout out. No, yeah, but there was a dumb take just now. Okay. Yeah. No, I'll just... I'll own it. I like Jim and Pam's relationship. Like I just watched the episode with the CD that Jim gets, and I was a little teary eyed. Little teary eyed. That's and the last we... episode, right? No, the second to no, last. Second to last. Well, isn't that like two parts? Yeah, A A A R M or whatever that episode is. The the last episode was... is the wedding. Yeah, the, oh, the yeah. acapella is the acapella. It's a year later. Yeah, but I mean the Asian Sucker. prank is in eight and nine. Okay, the white fire and a gun. You can fit all uh, those into one naming. episode. All the yeah, highlights you can fit into one episode. The garden party moments. You're just naming moments. I will tell. I will say the character development in those two seasons are pretty good. Like the there's more of the side characters are, have more. Parts. Yeah, yeah they were got Steve Carell. Like you get more Kevin, Toby. you get more Andy, all that stuff. Toby gets a little funnier. Sure. I don't know about and that. then <laughs> and then you have Nellie Burcham, the worst character oh, in the Oh office. yeah. Eric. The worst character. Eric. I mean, how do you how do you just go in and sit at the desk and you get the job? I mean, only on the office. Yep. Stupid. Um, Alright, what's your next Are, are we take? moving on? Yes, we're done with that. <laughs> yeah, you're stupid. Did I win? Yes. Did I win the no, I think I won I told I you think no. I won the debate. I told Ameri- you they would America vote. We got a QR code vote just like 
I told you don't. Keaton and Spencer would agree with me. Mm. Yeah. All right, my second hot take is ESPN has lost its fastball. I think we, if you don't understand that saying, is they have slowed down. Yeah, yeah. Take it from another podcast. Okay, he's not on the podcast. He's just a that's that a person. was a segment on a podcast. Oh, we're not in a segment. We're hot. This is hot topic segment. Okay. So we're not in lose your fastball segment. Our right, conti- topic. Continue. So I just think ESPN has lost their fastball this summer. They fired a lot of NBA analysis, probably the best two TV broadcasters. Uh, hopefully, I get Jeff Van Gundy and Mark Jackson with Jeff Breen. Uh, Jalen was fired. All these people have been fired from ESPN because there's other crews that are are getting more money and they have running out of money and then they're just holding on to some people. I think Dickie V is still announcing college basketball games and I respect these two. Let me put the baseline. These two guys, I respect them, but when you get to a certain age, I think it's just time to hang it up. I know we respect them. And we love them, and thank you for what you did to your two sports. But oh Dickie God. V and Lee Corso, it's time to hang it up. ESPN just cut the cord. Uh, I love Lee Corso with the headgear. He does an amazing job. I don't know who's going to replace him with that. I think Pat McAfee would be a great one to replace him with some headgear. He does it. He does a funny. He does funny things, um, but. It's just time. ESPN has lost its fastball. When that you was... listen, this is what this is what I think has ruined ESPN. They've gotten way too much into the social media, like quick clips stuff, and trying to do all these debate shows all the time. Yeah. So those they've they've gone too far on that end. What do you think of when you think of ESPN, what's the first thing you think of? Sports Center. Sports Center. Have you watched Sports Center lately? It's no, I've, uh, terrible. I've it's- watched I watched Greeny in the morning and it's the first four hours are literally the same people saying the same thing each like the same the same takes just in different shows. Yes. Yes. It's so. and sports they put no money into Sports Center anymore. They're all the anchors are not very good, and they do all these silly media social media uh, segments. It's bad. Yeah, and even like the afternoon, even in the afternoon shows, like around the horn, PTI, like those shows, they're not. They're starting to dwindle away because, I mean, Pat McAfee is twelve to three now, uh, and it's just they're just all dwindling away. Yeah, I know Tucker and Keaton. They they have good insight about it. Care less. So I don't even remember the last time I watched ESPN. Exactly, they're losing it's their so fastball. Bad. Yes, you make I our mean, point. I, I agree with Spencer with the debating thing. That's all you see. That's all you see on social media is people debating. Or and the funny I'm thing is, the most money probably. The funny thing is, some of the debates they probably agree with each other. But they have yeah, to debate about it to get the audience, you know? Like, like the Stephen A. crap? Yeah, like who's the best quarterback? It's obviously Patrick Mahomes. But then they have Art like, no, it's Joe Burrow or Josh Allen. No, it's Patrick Mahomes. It's Dak no, it's Prescott. Mahomes. Yeah, Dak Prescott. But yeah, uh, it's... anyways. Well, let's clear the air. Let's have some – let's breathe in, breathe out. We're ready for the best segment that nose is nose is uh stuffy over there, but Spetzer, are you ready to go? Best segment. I don't think we got it a is. clip, did we? It's nice no, that one. Oh, okay. Would you please? I'm Sorry. trying to intro. Keep second. going, keep going. It's it a sport. It a sport. <laughs> All right, fellas. Today we got a good one. We are done with with paddle sports. 
Thank goodness. Luckily, that has come to an end. I cannot continue. Last last week was a fake. Make it happen. Well, you can complain all you want. I'm already watching this, so. All right. I believe we've done this. Are we ready? No, we haven't. Not that the sun. We've done versions of it's a basketball sport. We've done versions of that. Fix our camera, Keaton. But we haven't done this. I'm we'll watching the clip. Sorry. Everybody turn sideways. All right. Here is that clip. Wrestle basketball. Whoa. Whoa. This is in a UFC ring. You, seems there are no rules. You can grab guys. I don't know if you even have to dribble. Them Off out. the cage. He just oh. fell on his oh. back. Oh, oh! Basketball players. This dude picks him up and slams him down. Ooh. Do you see how bad wow. the shooting is? Yes. They're, is Rick? they're just wrestlers. That's all have they you, are. Have you guys ever seen Along Came Polly? Yeah. No. Sure. There's White a, chocolate. There's, there's a scene in Along Came Polly where he has a friend who's really bad at basketball, kind of a little bit overweight, white guy. When he shoots, he yells white chocolate and yeah. throws it up. <laughs> he airballs it. He hits the back of the backboard. It's terrible. Yeah. That's like I imagine all these guys are saying when they take shots. They're just there wrestling pretty much. Primary objective is the wrestling. Mm, yes. Yeah. All right. That brings us to our most important question of the day. Wrestling basketball is it a sport? Three, two, one. Thumbs up, thumbs down. It's oh a sport. Oh it's a my. sport, fellas. It's the same every week. It's a sport. Or just combining sports. We're, at the we're same. Uh, debating. And Spencer knows it's not a sport, but. This is just for content yeah. purposes. It's a sport. Listen, Why is it a sport? Let's take two sports and put them together and well, somehow we cancel is, it out. And it's is not wrestling a sport. A sport. It is wrestling a sport. UFC is What? A sport. Is UFC uh, a sport? I think what? It's, it's acting. What? It's acting. I, no, UFC is no. not. That's UFC, WWE. UFC is fine. Wrestling. That's WWE. Wrestling? That's WWE. Yeah, WWE. Okay, these guys are That's doing, what this is. Is wrestling. They're doing no. UFC. They're truly grabbing each other and throwing one. Okay, one. this the okay. kid literally airballed a basketball. Anyways, though, right, this is not a sport. Yeah, this is clearly. He literally airballed the basketball. They're no, just the flipping it. The of how good they are at the sport does not take away if it is a sport or not. Mm-hmm. No, it's not a sport. That doesn't. There's some. There's some really bad NFL players out there. And we still call that a sport. Mm-hmm. But okay. Yeah, like yeah, you feel mm. <laughs> really bad at a sport. Kyle, it's still a don't sport. don't go over to this side. He's I'm not. Good. He's not. That, the guys, they just flipped each other over their shoulders. Hey, come on, come on over. Yeah. No. You think no. you're gonna be shooting shots when you're getting thrown? I just, no. It's too similar to wrestling. You think you're throwing me on the ground? Well, I don't have to throw you on the ground. You can't shoot. Yeah. Hmm. Don't have to guard you. Catch me on Tuesdays. Ooh! What yeah, you sitting under the basket. What do you What do you do on Tuesdays? On uh, average Average double doubles. It's not. It's down to double doubles, not triple doubles. No, well, we don't. We're not getting assists because I'm just scoring. Ten, ten what about block? And ten minutes on the bench. What That's about cool. blocks? We get blocks. Picking. No blocks. Ah, I only the cherry pick on defense. That. Court is you should be defense. able to get up and down. It's not even full size court. No, if if someone sure. I'll get the rebound, I'll throw it to someone, and I'll just stay on defense. Yeah, that's <laughs> defense is more important than offense because they're fast. Yeah. They go down there and they shoot a three and usually score. So yeah. you need to be on defense. So well, obviously, clearly, America knows. We know. This is not a sport, so 
It's a nice little video to watch. This Whatever. People are going to leave it alone. Well, are we another QR code for, over for next week, Spencer? We're producer, making... producer has a sport for you. I gotta send that to you. Oh boy! For next what? week, oh, yeah. where is she getting Why? this? That was supposed to be for today, but I forgot. So. Where is she getting this? Ah, the internet. She she uh, wanders. Interest. So. <laughs> she wanders. <laughs> she. <laughs> 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 All right, are we ready for the next segment? Last, any last comments about is this sport? No, let's move on. That was simple and easy. Uh, Spencer, you three are wrong. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. So I don't know who Keaton. I think Keaton has lost his position as draft master. If I'm being why, honest. I don't know if he cares. He has not been why? coming up with drafts lately. Has not been you, coming up. You. Whose idea was this one? Whose was this, was this was today? Kyle. This was mine. So, Tucker, do you agree so with that? Much. Keaton losing his losing his title. I was, he you could say the same about Make Spencer. Tucker be the intro guy. No, I Keaton. Come up with this every week. Yes, yeah, uh, Spencer comes. I up. could once. <laughs> Keaton, draft for today is. What you want me to say it? That's why I said Keaton. Uh, I'm not sure today's what it is, draft actually. is it is costumes, Halloween costumes. Yes. Whoa. So, whoa. Oh, I will preface Halloween this. costumes. Let me put the baseline, then we'll have open the floor to questions. These don't have to be costumes that you wear. The Woodlicka family, we wore the dog suit until we got too big for it. I know I wore football stuff till I, think I got we big. Still wore even if it was too big. And then I, I was always an athlete for some odd reason, and I just still throw, just throw a jersey on, the, just throw the jersey keep on. This, keep this thing for us to get. Yeah. So and and easiest setup. We would just take a, them with what they always wear to the games on the weekend. We would take exactly. pillowcases to hold our candy too. Yeah. We never got baskets. So that baseline of that. Get more candy. Yeah, it kind of was. We're not putting Halloween costumes that we have worn. It's Halloween costumes that we wish we could wear. Like some. A husky, I wrote about this. A husky kid can't be a Spider-Man. I wanted to be Spider-Man or Iron Man. <laughs> but a husky kid <laughs> like myself... Can't be a Spider Man. There's no like fat Spider-Man. Don't there's no me. there's no fat Spider Man. This is this is now a therapy uh, session. You, you should have been you could have been Spider-Man. the Hulk. You to be Spider-Man. You I be always Hulk. had to be the Hulk. I was tired of the Hulk. <laughs> People want I wanted to be Spider Man. Kyle, why are you not laying down on the couch right now? You should be laying down on the couch. Oh my goodness. You, you would have we would have approved of you being a husky Spider Man. Well, you had to get a big a, a big little and stronger tongue. web to hold to hold you up. Exactly. So Well, so these are costumes that maybe we wish we could have worn or we seen like a cool the athletes if the I know the NBA players the last couple of years have uh dressed up as Halloween costumes or Comic cons. There's costumes at Comic cons. So, just a Halloween costume. Top five or drafting five. Honorable mention. So, I think it's pl- clear and simple, Tucker. But we'll probably still have questions. Are there any questions? I don't have any. Well, it seems like he doesn't have <laughs> any today. I don't so. have any today. We're pretty yeah, clear. Right. To, we're pretty clear yeah, today, right. Tucker. We're pretty clear. So yeah, first right. time in a long time. Keaton. Maybe ever. Keaton has family feud for us today. Let's hear it. All right. You ready? Yep. Name a Halloween costume that is a complete misrepetition of the occupation it portrays. Spencer Tucker Kyle. Nurse. Dang it. You have to say sexy nurse. No. 
We all it's, knew that was yeah. Funny. That's what I was gonna say. That was what I was gonna say. Sexy nerves. <laughs> mm, okay. Sexy cop. I was gonna cop. say that one too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Probably a let's say zombie. <laughs> let's go out outside the box. A zombie. Who dresses up as a zombie? I, I want to say like like a a priest or like a nun. That's a good sexy, one. sexy like, nun. Yeah. Why is like everything sexy? You know? Alright, we got nurse at number one. And we yeah. got doctor. Doctor and nurse are... Oh my. We got housekeeper. Like a maid. Uh, that's true. I guess. I guess it makes sense. And then four was a cop. Okay. So Spencer, me. I, I get another question. Gets me and Keaton. Me and Keaton. Are... Kyle's last. <laughs> There's not good zombies. Every That's not zombie... an occupation. That wasn't even an occupation, though. <laughs> I I missed that word. I mixed the occupation. <laughs> I just thought it was Halloween costume. That is. Uh... Once she took my two tops, I was I was flabbergasted. You scrambling. I was scrambling, flabbergasted. Yeah, right? Yep. You got another question, Keen? We're just going oh, yeah. Spencer, Tucker. Yeah, I got another one. Okay. All right. Name a Halloween costume you would get for your pet. Oh, it's not Go against ahead. you. Tucker's already positioned. I'm I getting a hot. Idea. I'm getting a hot. I'm doing a hot dog for a wiener dog. I would say. Um, I don't even know. Like a superhero, I guess. Okay. Super I don't dog. Think, super I don't think heroes. either. I don't think either one this of us are on the board. Hard. I'm saying a hot dog for a wiener dog. Hot dog was on there. Because I know Monty has a hot dog costume. Okay, this is stupid. All right, number one was pumpkin, then hot dog, then witch, then Superman, devil, so Batman, and you Bumblebee. Were on there. Both on there. Yeah, Maybe. I said superhero. So, but... so, so what's guess. up, family? It's Spencer, Tucker, Kyle, Keaton. Spencer, we're ready whenever you're ready. All right. So, I'm gonna go with a good, a good costume, a clever one. One that when I first thought of costumes that that were good. I thought of this show, How I Met Your Mother. It's a classic. The Hanging Chad. Ted's Hanging Chad. Good one. And I just looked this up. He, when he meets the mother, when he meets her, Your mother. she is his voter. So really good. Really good. Oh, one. okay. I got. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. The hanging chat is valid, but it's not. Yes. Only about yes. Hanging. Yes. It's a bit controversy. Wow. I think it's like the 2000 election or something. You just yeah. won the draft. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. No, he did, did not. not. That was the end. Hanging chat. All right. I'm going to go with a army man. I like a toy, the army figure. Good one. Like from Toy Story. Yeah, we got it. I've always wanted, you I wanted it. to do that costume. Interesting. You guys are late. I gave you a free pick and you're letting me pick it. Yeah, it's not Interesting. that good. One of my favorite characters in the Batman movie is the Joker. When you have a good Joker costume, it is pretty fantastic. So that's one costume that I wish yeah, I could wish I could get. People dress up as him. Are you allowed to have a husky Joker? No, I can't be a husky Joker with a beard too. We're it's... back. We're back in the therapy room. I know. And you know why I'm husky is because of all the candy. <laughs> <laughs> it's cyclical. It's, yeah. it's coming full I did, circle. I did write if the house had a full size candy bar, 
You know the Woodlicka family's going to that house. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we got full size the last year. We're going to be back the next year, so. It's true. Keaton? You skip the ones that would give you pretzels. Yes, yes. Keaton? Um, are we allowed taking, like, like, they're two costumes, but they're, like, kind of go together? Um, explain yeah, so if it's a theme together like two people I was, family yeah theme. yeah yeah i think so because i was i was thinking mario and luigi hey, i'll give you that I'll give that's you that. fun yep that's my pick yep i I'm was already, i'm already struggling i was wario one year for band yeah. we had we had a little mario of oh, course, I have... <laughs> of course, I, I was. Sense. Of course, I was warrior. You know, fat one. But <laughs> I feel like we're just we're really staying in the. <laughs> we are. Did we not have good Halloweens oh, yeah. as a kid. No, I only like the candy. Why did? Why are we doing this draft? Because uh, these are costs. Just... These are yeah, costumes I wish I would have worn. Yeah, <laughs> and then he ate all the candy to. Yeah, for, to cover his feelings. Uh, around number two, <laughs> my feelings. All right, I'm gonna go with one that's been super relevant lately. Uh, Ted Lasso, a good mm -hmm. Ted Lasso costume. That is, yes. Yep. Mm. Yep. Yep. Which you, which you could argue, this makes a lot of sense. If I wear that now, it's like when I dressed up as an athlete as a kid. Because now I coach. So wearing that costume, just that, basically wearing what I wear all the time anyways. Yep. That was a good good one. Move quickly, Tuck. All right, I'll take uh, <laughs> Dwight from The Office. Lots of people... So dressing as Dwight. Yes, lots of people like to dress up as him. Could you do that now, Tuck? character. Yeah. Um... I'm trying to think of the name of this costume. It's the one with the like creepy mask. Scream. Oh yeah. The white mask. Yep. Yeah. Like a ghost facing mask. It's Scream. Yeah. You talking about that one? Oh, yeah. you're like the big mouth. Yeah. yeah the pro white... athletes. The pro athletes would wear it. I don't. Is it Pennywise or Scream? It's... Is it a clown? No, it's not a clown. It's the way I think he's talking about Scream. Scream. Ghostface, I think his name is. Yeah. Is that yes. what you're going with? Or are we just yes. Okay. Yes. You're up, Keaton. All right, this one. I like this. Among Us character. Uh, I was going to take that. Oh, those inflatable good. ones? Yeah, those inflatable ones. Those are funny. All right, Tucker. I'm gonna give you a little, a little props here, a little credit for this one. I have dressed as this character. This is a group project. Uh, Branch Wars from The Office, dressing uh, when Michael, uh, Jim, and Dwight uh, go out to Utica. They they dress as warehouse workers. When we had one of our foster kids, we did that as a family that was a really fun one that's cute have you guys seen that photo before yes mm, yeah i, I think, think so, so. all yeah. right one of my favorite disney movies we're going with mr incredible that was... how could be mr incredible i could a family <laughs> <laughs> I think it's what a family of three, right? Four, four, incredible, four, five. If you count the baby, or if you're dressing uh, as the incredible, yeah. Um, what was I Could thinking done it with our family? Yeah, yeah. The siblings. What was I thinking of? A costume. Oh, <laughs> this one's probably gonna be popular this year. Because of the movie, but no, I'm switching. Dumb and Dumber. 
their prom <laughs> their <laughs> prom it's costume. not prom it's oh, a, the suit prom, the suits yes the yeah the suits. suits yes it's a suit. but people that's wear it for prom. I, people wear it for prom but that's a good I Halloween. hope not you can have that it's a good one oh my gosh who's is who's... it my <laughs> <laughs> I was, I'm gonna pick a, uh, like Team Rocket from Pokemon. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. That's a good one. If you know what that is, it's good. I know what it is. <laughs> Kyle and Spencer don't. It's the ringleader, isn't it? What's his name? Sure. Jesse and something. I forget his name. I forget his name too. Uh, you, got, well, you got two more picks? Two more? Yes. Two more. All right. I am uh, sort of running low, on, low on ideas. Yeah. But, um, probably one of the funniest things. Not always worn at Halloween, but I'm going to go with the uh, inflatable T Rex costumes. Dang it. I was gonna, t- I was just gonna take that one. It's a good one. Always funny to watch somebody try to walk around in one of those. Mm. All right, a great cartoon, Scooby Doo, going with Velma. Oh, <laughs> oh. Velma. Why, <laughs> Tucker? Uh, Vel- people wear good Velma costumes. You like the red oh. hair? Oh, do they? Yep. The red wigs. I thought we were picking costumes that we'd want to dress up as. Well. No, Tucker just made his pick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I need to throw in a superhero, and one of my favorite superheroes. Nice little Black Panther costume. Black Panther. You're a little husky for that. I, I am. That's... I thought you were the Hulk. I was always the Hulk. I'm tired of the Hulk. I'm tired of the Hulk. I want a more important one. That's not a baby. <laughs> All right. The Hulk. Black Panther's a baby. The this Hulk is be... ashamed of himself. This would be my personal favorite. Is the name tag that says you're somebody else. That's it. Okay, what, Jim. What Jim wears? Yeah, what Jim wears in the office. Okay. All right. I just think that's funny. You really took my last, my last pick. I'm gonna go. <laughs> uh, and Tucker, I believe it was Tucker and I that dressed up as this Lego superheroes. I was dressing up. I was Lego. Batman. You were Flash. Yep. Lego. Oh dear. Can oh, I take my fourth pick back? No. Nope. Be, lo- be loud and proud about it. Where, where'd that come from, anyways? He's. I'm. Yeah, who knows? We're on the Halloween store. <laughs> you might as well just pick the nurse's outfit next. No. We'll go with a classic one back in the day was SpongeBob. Okay. Those you buy the SpongeBob costume. Sure. I think we Every, had one. Everyone wears SpongeBob costume. I think we had one of those actually. Yeah, that's what I'm taking. I think that sure. I think that really rounds out my draft. Yep. Yes, it does, Velma. I'm picking uh, Gru. Gru from Despicable Me. Gru. You could wear that one. Gru. You you the, you What's a better Gru? Gru or a minion? Who plays? Who's the voice actor Gru? for Gru? Jim Carrey. Or no, Steve Carell. <laughs> Come on. It's not Jim Carrey. I don't know. Your joke didn't even work. <laughs> Kyle doesn't even know. Yes, I did know Steve Carell. Did you? Yes. After Keaton said it. No. That's why I knew I it was know. a joke. No. Yes, there you go. I'm going, uh, I'm just going to say Spider-Man. 
That's sure. a good. That's a good one. It's a good superhero. Black Panther. Spider Man yeah. Two coming out on PS Five October twentieth. Get your copy at your local yeah. at your local GameStop. What about yep, if I want to get it at Walmart? You can get it at Walmart. Or online. What about Target? Like everybody I else. need to use my red card. Oh, yeah. That's a hot topic, Target. But anyways, honorable mentions real quick. I don't... This this was more fun of a draft than you thought, but Just saying. Uh, yeah, well, it was okay. I think was... I would have enjoyed scary movies more. No. Well, no. That can be yeah, net. No. Literally do not watch them. Yeah, no. My honorable mention, I had uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We got a group of friends. That's a good one. That's a good one. I like that one. All right, I'll go with a Transformer. I've seen people make costumes where they actually transform. So. Oh, those, those are nice. good. Ones. Those are you cool. You dress up a as an nice, electrical thing? A nice little bumblebee. <laughs> Nice. I was just well thinking done, of well Sucker in that joke. I don't know if they heard it. That what, was good. Uh, electrical yeah. what? I didn't the understand. Transformer. Oh, it's... that's funny. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get that now. <laughs> I'm doing uh when this show is popular, nice Duck Dynasty. Dressing up as Willie or... oh, you definitely could do that. That was I Kyle. Kind of that might be the best plan when he was done with that outfit. Yeah, get a cup of tea. Yep. I was a. Uh, I saw this one. Uh, Vector from Despicable Me. The yeah, orange I've, suit. I've seen that costume. That would be funny. All right, I have a well, re- request. Okay. Can we get? For movie review for October, can we go? Everyone watch Five Nights at Freddy's. No, no, I'll watch I it. told you that yesterday. <sighs> it's not gonna be hey. scary. It should be movie review of The Blind. Everybody go watch The Blind. Okay, story of Phil Robertson. You will, your life, I'm not watching that. your life will you gave us. Changed. You already gave us the review though. Did I? Yes. You, you have talk, talked about it. Um, needs to be talked about more. So, Spencer. Oh, you mean Tucker? Collection oh, yeah. of the week. I don't think I bought anything this week. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be bought this week. I like how he says, "I don't think." You had you you said you got a package. Did I get a package? I thought you did. <laughs> You remember. He buys I'll what's up? Real quick. What's up? Then we're getting blamed for his spending. I think we said this, but we're yeah. getting blamed. Part of the show now. We gotta. Yeah. He's gotta buy, so this was not of... bought. I've had this pre-ordered. But this is a new PS5 game. Comes in a nice oh. little box. You get pin set. What is it? It's a horror game. Daymare, nineteen ninety four. That will never play. Yeah. We could could play but it. it looks but it looks good yeah it comes looks in a cool. nice box that is a good box i was upset it came damaged see that little it got punctured oh it's not Ooh. a good box then. that's not gonna read out well so not a good box that kind of upsets it me but send it back i got i picked it up at gamestop Ooh, gamestop's <laughs> gotta be better take it down. back and get a new box gamestop's better Gotta get better. Stop so. playing. Do that. But yeah, that's what I got this week. Any last comments? Any last comments? No, no, no. Mm. Well, this has been another edition of the What's Up Them podcast, brothers. We're coming up to a year. It's been pretty amazing. Hi, Monty. It's been pretty amazing. We're on the road to fifty subscribers, so maybe we'll get there before the year ends. Um, but we'll see. Mom says we should do this for a while because it's good for us. So we gotta listen to the producer. So, but oh, thank you again, yawn, puppy. Bit, thank you again. Another edition of the What's Up Them podcast. Thank you guys for clicking like, comment, subscribe. Have a great week. We'll see you next time. Peace.